Hi, I'm Matthew Jones and welcome to this tutorial. I always loved a good iced beer, so today I decided to create a use case related with beer brewing. I must confess that I don't any idea in how to brew beer, but this could be a good idea to implement on a real case. So, let's start now. For this use case we will consider that we have a beer brewing tank, and that we need to control the tank temperature on the top and bottom zones. And for data repository and analytic, we will use the IoT Smart Connect platform. We will use an ESP32 to read the tank temperatures, and post the temperature information into the IoT Smart Connect platform through an HTTP JSON API. For this project, we will need, an ESP32, two DS18B20 temperature sensors, and one pull-up 4.7K resistor. For the temperature sensors, I advise you, to get the ones with waterproof cables like the one on the right. You can find, here on this link, all the details about, the material list, firmware code, and much more. So, let's start our project. Start by, opening the URL smartconnect.com, on your preferred browser. Now, click on the upper right button login in order to access to your Smart Connect Portal account. Click on the Connected Center icon. Now, it's time to create a digital twin for your temperature sensors. Expand the menu option design and click on Edit Digital Twin Sensors. Click on Configure a new sensor on the Your Custom Sensor group. Give a name to your digital twin sensor. Now, let's create the tags to store the upper and bottom temperature values from the tank. Let's name the bottom sensor tag as temperature 1. Let's pick the type. Float. Let's define the unit as F. From Fahrenheit. And now, let's do the same for upper temperature sensor. Let's name the upper sensor tag as temperature 2. Let's pick the type. Float. Let's define the unit as F as well. Now, just click on add device to complete the digital twin configuration. Click now, on the new created digital twin, and check the connectivity and API details. Here, you can find the URL for the JSON API. Here is your Digital Twin API ID. And here your Digital Twin API key. Here you can see some code snippets of different languages. On the Smart Connect blog, on the link below video, you can find the firmware source code for this project. Copy this source code, to your favorite Arduino IDE. Let's now, customize the source code, with your Digital Twin details, and with your Wi-Fi network details. Copy the URL from the portal, and assign it to the IoT server variable. Now, do the same with the API ID, and copy it to the my underscore API underscore variable. And finally, copy the API key from the portal, and assign it to the my underscore API underscore key variable. Now, let's go to the ESP Wi-Fi configuration. Fill in the variable SSID with your Wi-Fi SSID name. And fill in the variable pass with your Wi-Fi SSID password. And that's it you are ready to use your sensor. Before you go, just compile your code, and then send it to the ESP. Now that you have your sensor connected, and sending data to the IoT Smart Connect platform, you will be able to start getting some insights and alarms from your data. On your Smart Connected Center main page, you should be able to see some data arriving to your digital twin. You can check it, by clicking on your digital twin, now, let's start digging on your data, and let's create some widgets and dashboards. Expand the Designer menu option, and choose the Edit Widgets option. Click on Create Widget, and choose an Image Widget. Let's create a visual representation of the tank. Let's load an image of the tank.
Let's now create the meters for each temperature sensor. Now we will fill in the details for the bottom sensor. And now for the upper sensor. We save it now. And let's give a nice name to this widget. Now that we have a nice widget, let's create a dashboard to display it. Click on Edit Dashboards. Create Dashboard. Let's call it Overview. Now click on the new created dashboard. Let's change the dashboard layout. And now, just drag and drop the widget to the dashboard. Save it and publish it. To view the dashboard, just expand the Dashboards menu option, and choose the Overview Dashboard. Let's now create some widgets with more detail. Expand Designer menu option, and then click on Edit Widgets. Click on Create Widget. Choose Align Graphic Widget. Pick both tags from your sensor. Request the temperatures from the last 24 hours. Remember that 24 hours is equivalent to 1440 minutes. Now let's change some colors and give nice names. Let's create a different dashboard to store this new widget. Let's name it, Details. Click on Details Dashboard, to customize it, changing the layout. Drag and drop the widget. Save it and publish it.
Let's check it. Now, let's create a last one widget, but with a bit more complexity. Create widget. Pick a line widget again. Now pick only the temperature one sensor, which is the bottom one from our beer brewing tank. Pick again the last 24 hours. Set the graphic labels. Save it. Now, let's play with filters. Pick Average Filter. Change the aggregate by property to hour. Save it. And now let's change some colors. Give a nice name to the widget. Save it. And now, let's add it to the details dashboard. Just drag and drop the new widget, and check it. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. For further information, please visit smart-connect.com.